How did the shy kid ruin the popular kid's reputation? Beat the shit out of him. The shy kid warned him several times to stop bullying him. Popular kid wasn't so popular after. Ah yes. The classic bully goes too far and karma hits him like a freight train. Apostrophe. Nah. The kid hit him like a freight train. I was the shy kid. Was bullied by the popular kid a lot. The day after my dad passed away he came up to me and started making fun of me in front of people. I just said, please, my dad just died and walked away. I'm not sure what happened after, but people were sympathetic and he didn't seem to have his pose hanging out around him as much after that. I've got a sorta similar story. My granny passed away and some kid tried to push me after I tackled him in football, soccer if you're American. He was really small so one tiny push knocked him over and he got squealed at by our principal. I'm very sorry about your dad I hope you're doing okay. He simply filmed the popular kid 20 plus times tormenting people and showed them to the principal and posted them online. Now that's a power move. Shy kid killed himself after getting bullied for years by popular kid. Upset a lot of people. Bet they didn't care while it was happening. Welcome to what it is to have suicidal ideations. No one gives a shit how hard your life is. Tell a professional. And their number one priority is to minimalize their liability. And your actual well-being is like their seventh one. But if you did it, good. The water works. All those ashets who never did a thing for you, our life would come together like they would have done anything if they had known. Oh 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 oh. Had a couple of instances during high school. Both pretty stereotypical. One of the douchey guys I played football with got his ass kicked at a party by a nerd after messing with him too much. Turns out that nerd trained frequently at a local judo dojo. The other was having one of the more popular girls in school getting out head by the knot. So popular guy she was secretly hooking up with. She was the biggest bitch to most people. Him included. So when screenshots of them sexting got leaked. She didn't handle it too well. Imagine having to tell your mom and or dad that you got your ass judoed. I think you combined stories. A not so standard story I guess. So a popular guy on our football team was notorious for being a really nice guy. But he was also not so bright. He knew he had this reputation. But he was pushing himself and signed up for honors classes. And this shy guy happened to be in the same class as him. Well because the popular kid had a hard time learning the material. He often asked a ton of questions. And sometimes the questions seemed to be pretty simple. And these simple questions annoyed the shy kid. So shy kid and his friends start making fun of the popular guy behind his back. Making memes and sending them to each other. As time goes on. They start getting bold. And make the jokes and memes amongst themselves in class with the guy. Eventually. Shy kid and his friends gets annoyed and bold enough to start anonymously harass popular guy online and even sometimes printing the memes mocking popular guy and putting them places where he no hell find them. Popular guy went to teachers and the principal but no one was really doing anything to help his situation. Eventually, popular guy figures out shy guy is one of the people hoss harassing him and he beats the ever loving shit out of the kid. And I mean he sent the kid to the hospital. Popular guy is easily 6 plus inches taller and has pretty strong for his age at this point. And the shy kid is this tiny little nothing. Just this short, weak, mousy looking kid. Popular guy ends up getting a pretty severe punishment. 2 week suspension. Restraining order making him leave classes 5 to 10 minutes early and unable to attend school events like sports and clubs he was in. Community service, but isn't expelled or arrested because of the shy kid's history of bullying him and it's more of a rage induced retaliation than a planned out way to harm. Shy kid goes unpunished by anyone because what happened to him was enough punishment. As for the social repercussions, popular kid very quickly lost his nice guy reputation and immediately was vilified by the majority of other students and teachers because of the beatdown and a lot of people don't know the full story. Shy kid was put on this pedestal of oh poor you I, did you ever deserve that beatdown, and got all sorts of sympathy. I happened to be pretty friendly with the popular kid this happened to, and he often talked about his treatment throughout this whole thing, and it made me very sad. Popular kid is doing well enough nowadays. Graduated and got a trade job. Just made his last year of high school hard to get through, after he got so ostracized. As for shy kid, 
No clue. Wasn't close with him. I'll headcanon that shy kid got his commupants by insulting a gang. We had this one kid who was a homophobic racist asshole frat dude type guy. Rather large. 6 foot 3. And my grade only had 70 kids. So you could never really avoid him. Anyway he would shove people into walls. And call them f backslash gots and n backslash gas and all that. But he was the crown jewel of this little private school. Captain of the basketball slash football team type deal. Girls loved him. Smoking hot girlfriend. Not so much the stereotypical quiet kid. But this more low-key type of guy I knew. Slept with Buller's ex-girlfriend. After they broke up. And she confided in him for whatever reason that bully was packing like 4 inches. Of course the word got out, and when someone brought it up to bully, I remember he turned tomato red immediately and all his confidence just vanished. And then he never really bothered people anymore cause they'd just bring up his small dick, and he would never have a good comeback. Honestly I'm not one for body shaming, and I kinda regret contributing to that, but it made him shut up and leave me alone. The funny part was he was like respectful to me after that, and even kinda friendly lol. It just goes to show you that pretty much everyone is insecure and ducked up about something. No matter how big or bad or popular they are. I am. You are. We all have that thing. Wait. 4 inches is small? It's below average. Yes. Average is 4. 5 if I recall correctly. I gave him all the wrong answers to the final exam. He had been coping off me for years and absolutely trusted my answers. But was clearly using me. His GPA dropped, and so did his scholarship. Hero. He kept talking shit about her. How she was ugly. He'd been telling her to keep quiet about what they were doing. She got hurt. She started sharing his thirsty texts with people. He'd been using words like love, and we'll get away from all this and IDK. Why I'm making this so difficult, but you mean so much to me. Apostrophe. Despite being high schoolers. People near uniformly realized this made him a weird doucher bag. Wait. Which one is the popular kid, and which is the shy kid? The girl being toyed with was shy. She kept holding out hope that he would actually date her. She suffered through all kinds of demeaning garbage wanting it all to pay off. The thing is, the popular guy might have survived socially had he not sent the nutty messages. High schoolers overlook a lot if someone's cool. But when girls started getting word of it, they thought it was pretty ducking gross. So he went from badass to wallpaper slash comic relief at parties. When the shy kid was a generally more interesting person with a personality and stuff. Introverts tend to be like that. I would know. The popular kid insisted on bullying the shy kid. The shy kid defeated the popular kid in the spelling bee. They ended up dating a few years later. Was his name Josh? I think her name was Maggie. Fake name obviously. A popular boy was waking me up in the bus during a school trip while I was very tired and obviously trying to sleep. So I poured a bottle of water on him. He stopped and spent the rest of the trip, 6 hours, with a wet seat. Welcome to the creative writing class. I see some of you have already begun your stories. In my high school experience there were no popular kids it is all just different friends groups trying to get by. Are you in your 20s? From what I've heard the experience has changed for the better since I was a kid. I graduated in the late 90s and I can state for a fact we had a social hierarchy with a solid core of popular kids. A bit of an off the cuff story. Popular kid is from rich family. So many opportunities afforded to him. He was in all the sports ball pictures. Every club. Mega ego from all of this. Gets a free ride to college from a scholarship. He was getting one anyway. And the shy kid goes into the military. Comes out to be a police officer in my town. In the 7 years I've been out of high school the popular kid dropped out of college. Gets addicted to meth. He's now in a state prison because he shot at police and took a preacher hostage. But two years ago there was a festival in the town square. Popular kid streaks past everyone. Gets immediately tackled and tased by police. Including shy kid who's now an officer. Popular kid recognizes him and still has the audacity to call him by the nickname he gave him when he bullied him in high school. No one likes him now. Wow. Talk about polar opposites. Shy girl in 8th grade asked popular annoying girl to be quiet during a lockdown. 
We'd have to run laps if we were caught talking. Lockdown was during gym class. Popular girl said make me. Quiet girl elbowed her in the neck lol. Popular girl flipped out and went insane and nobody took her side cause she asked for it. Both got in trouble and popular girl's rep was trashed throughout high school. Quiet girl had her own issues but never got in any other fights or anything really. I was the shy kid. A kid bullied me every morning during my senior year. I finally started accusing him of being in love with me and constantly flirting with me. I called him sweetheart, precious, and snookums. His nickname was snookums for the rest of high school. Oh. The old story of if someone bullies you, they must love you in a romantic way. Put powdered clam milk cheese fish food into popular kid's bag. The class did the rest. And shy kid also sent popular kid the wrong answers for an upcoming test. Shy kid was quite literally half the size of the popular kid and wasn't athletic at all. But shy kid completely laid out the popular kid on the football field during gym class one day. It was touch football. True story. I had a nickname at school. Chicken boy. I don't know where it came from or why. One day I'd had enough of this huge bully called Paul. So after a few pushes and names called I snapped. Broke his nose and cut his eyebrow and I got promoted to turkey boy haha. It did stop the popular boy from picking on me and brought me out of my shell. Bruce Willis plays a small role in Friends where his character says kids used to call him chicken boy. His character's name is Paul. Doesn't he date Rachel in that part? What a Joe incidence. True story. My older sister was the shy kid who's being bullied by the popular kid. Unfortunately I was the shy kid's sister, so I went to their classroom, in front of the class, and called out the popular kid and her minions. I asked them if any of them could take me outside our school. I'll be waiting from 3 to 5 in the afternoon. Nobody showed up, and my sister didn't get bullied again. I was in 4th grade. My C's was in 5th. Username checks out. Please tell me you were at least listening to Enter Sandman while waiting for them to show up. Hello waits by Slayer. More fitting. Popular kid bullied him, and when the popular kid got bored he started trying to flirt with me. I told him no, and he tried to force me to make out with him. His best friend recorded. Nothing happened but my friend, the shy kid, took the other kid's phone, pulled me away from the popular kid, and showed the video to the principal. Kinda wonder where that kid is now. I'm now in 10th grade. This happened in 7th grade. Popular kid knows karate shy kid belts one a blarasso in the ducking face. There was this one time there was this asshole kid no one liked. This was in 6th grade. He had a huge ego and would bully others on a daily basis. Such as when he slammed my friend's little brother's head on concrete and stealing all my music books right before my major music exam. Anyways. Apparently he challenged one of my now friends to a fight claiming he knew kung fu. My friend beat his ass mayo. He didn't. There is an inherent power imbalance. And the mob would support the popular kid regardless of how correct the shy kid was. Yup this is how it goes. If you're in an argument. Even if everyone knows popular kid is so ducking wrong they still side with him. Only way people really learn their lesson is getting their ass kicked which is sad. Popular girl accidentally sent nudes to him instead of her boyfriend. He leaked them. That's really shitty actually, and highly illegal. Yeah. Plus, I don't exactly see the logic of someone becoming unpopular because their nudes were leaked. Not the shy kid, but the unpopular kid let's call him you. Playing scrimmages during the last football slash soccer practice of the SZN. Us scrimmage team had an extra person. So they needed one player to sit each game. Us football team was shit to him all season and forced him to sit out for as long as possible. Even though you is very good. Player on the other scrimmage team got injured. You switched teams and filled him for the injured guy. You gets 1 minute 30 seconds to play. Us new team is losing by 1. Gets the ball and shoots 40 meters from the goal in the air. And scores an absolute screamer off a half volley. It went top right corner. Tie game. It goes into penalties. One of the popular kid, who was captain of the scrimmage team, that didn't let you play missed his penalty. Fun stuff. Edit. Yes. You is me. I just didn't want to brag. Thanks for all the upvotes. 
Back in the late 1960s, a kid I used to hang in 7th grade with got mad at me because I embarrassed him in shop class as I was helping clean up when I pulled my broom out from under him after he stood on it. He felt like a rag doll. He challenged me to a fight and met me on the way home. I've never fought unless someone hit me. I wouldn't hit first and he got even madder because he didn't understand why. For the record we did not fight nor did I run away. For a couple years he'd harass me at school by tripping me or pushing me in the school hallway between classes. The whole school thought I was a pussy and a coward. Fast forward two years. In 9th grade a girl I liked and I were walking and talking in the hallway between classes when he pushed me hard from behind. As I remember I almost fell. I turned around. Threw one punch. And ecked his stupid ass in front of everyone there. He never bothered me again, and several students figured out I wasn't a coward. I was simply smart enough to know when to be violent and had enough courage to not be when it wasn't necessary. There have been jerks and assholes for as long as there have been humans. Bullies often do crumble when properly humiliated. Sadly these days foolish adults think that all fighting, particularly in schools, is wrong without realizing some people simply need appropriate and immediate physical reminders their actions can have unpleasant consequences. Reminders which if experienced early enough help them grow out of their foolishness. Physical fights are most often stupid, though. Sometimes necessary. Please click subscribe if you enjoyed this video.